business, how you took from nothing to over a million dollars in sales. What did it take? So if somebody wants to start a business and share what traits they need. So how many of you have really good advice to give somebody else? Let's see a raise of hands. Come on, uh, come on. We're women, we all have that. I want to see everybody raise their hands. So every one of you have the tools to solve a problem. I mean, hello, a blinked out crutch. She's got an amazing business. She solved a problem. You have the, the tools and abilities to solve a problem you already have. Look at this, it's already on the panel, it's a blinked out crutch. You have that ability right now. And really, what I, as, a, as a small business owner, okay, here's the bottom line. Many of you have been seduced by a lie. Should I, should I break the bubble? Okay, don't tell anybody, but doing what you love and thinking that the money's just gonna happen is a lie. <laughs> I know, it, it kind of makes me nauseous to tell you, but it's just the truth. Because imagine going into a restaurant and you really want eggs benedict because you don't really like to make them at home and you walk in and you want the eggs benedict and the, the waitress comes up to you and says, oh, I just love blueberry pancakes, I love them. They've got the little purple thing and it's so cool, I love them. Are you going to buy those blueberry pancakes if you really want the eggs benedict? No. no. So the real key as a small business owner 